Another new world record, Cloudflare blocks the largest DDoS attack or distributed denial of service attack, 11.5 terabits per second. Cloudflare tweeted the following, over the past few weeks, we've autonomously blocked hundreds of hypervolumetric DDoS attacks with the largest reaching peaks of 1.5 billion packets per second and 11.5 terabits per second. The 11.5 terabits per second attack was a UDP flood that mainly came from Google Cloud. Okay, so this attack only lasted about 35 seconds, but new world record of 11.5 terabits per second. The Hacker News website also mentions this and gives an example of a DDoS attack. This is not necessarily the DDoS that was used in this specific example, but shows you an example of DDoS attacks using NVRs or network video recorders and other IoT devices for enlisting them in botnets capable of carrying out DDoS attacks. A 22-year-old from the US has been charged with allegedly developing and overseeing a distributed denial of service for hire botnet called Rapperbot. The BitInsight blog gives more information about this and talks about how infection to DDoS happens in a split second. We can see an NVR here or network video recording system not looking the way it should. And the researcher here used an old hub to capture traffic and see what was going on with this botnet. He says that this exploit seems to be a zero day. The path traversal was similar to others found in the wild, but not quite the same. It targets the web server running on port 80 and downloads two account files, which contain a lot of information about the device users. So we can see something here as an example. I'll link this blog article below. Point is, is that botnets are still being used. This is a warning once again, not to put your IoT devices and your IP cameras as an example online, because they can be hacked and enrolled to become part of a botnet.